What's up guys, this is PS Probo 101 and I'm here today to show you guys how to change superstar names. So first you're gonna you guys are gonna wanna download this. I re-uploaded this magic save, this version of Magic Save because I didn't want to mix you guys up having you guys download a completely different version than from what I have. Because it might mess or throw you guys off. So um first you're gonna wanna un you you're gonna wanna extract that of course. Here you have your magic save folder now just connect your PSP to your laptop or computer um, and now you're going to install magic save if you don't already have magic save if you have it you could skip this step just to save time um, open that up you're going to want to drag this folder here magic save to the root of your memory stick if you don't know what the root, where the root of your memory stick is you might as well just stop stop right now because yeah pretty obvious and I already installed it so I'm gonna click no but nothing should pop up for you if you don't have it um which most of you don't and now you're gonna want to go to the SE plugins folder here I have magic save already but to show you guys open up the, the C plugins SE plugins you're gonna want to install this magic save not this one the one before this one so you just drag it to the SE plugins folder and I already have it so yeah and you're going to want to open up the game.txt file and you're going to want to add this line to it right here MSO SE plugins magic save.prx so it can open it up when you um go to the game here's the line again just copy that into your um your game.txt um file and now that you did that you could exit it out since you already installed it and everything like that and let's get started um editing the save and all that stuff or whatever it's called um you could disconnect your psp from the computer and go to the game um right now i have the s the um not the se sorry guys i'm kind of sick right now so i'm kind of off but you guys want to make sure that you have the um, magic save enabled as you see right there I have it enabled I have a whole bunch of plugins make sure you enable it through the plugin menu and now you could go in game just wait for the game to load up now that the game is loaded up guys whichever um, ISO you're using whether it's the WWE 11 or the Smackdown 2011 ISO you're gonna press the two volume buttons at the same time to open up magic safe here we go um you don't need nothing from here so you don't have to worry about that um you click x on save data you want to go down to read and validate click x and click x again to enable it make sure it's enabled make sure it says the stuff right here type 1 for sfo file and decrypt um type 3 and now you could click triangle to go back you're gonna go to backup and click save to magic save right make sure it says save to magic save now you can just press triangle 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 to go back now you're gonna go to the game and when you're in the game you go down to save data manager and you save the game pretty easy so far right just save and save it all right now that it's saved you can exit the game And I don't really need this at the moment. So you connect your PSP back to the to the computer or laptop that you have. Continue without scanning. Blah blah blah. Open folders if you found. All right, you're gonna go to here, the Magic Save folder. You're gonna go to Save, of course. And here's your save right here. You're gonna wanna open this up in the hex editor. If you don't have the hex editor by now, that's a major part of um, modding and stuff like that. So you're going to need a hex editor, no matter what you do. And here it is right here. You see all the names and stuff like that. Of all the superstars and all that stuff like that. And just scroll through some of it, you know. And um, let's say we want to change a name. Um, whose name should I change? Oh, I'm going to change the rock name. I'm going to change it to... 
I'm gonna change it right here. I'm gonna change it to Rocky in all capital Rocky. Now, one thing you guys don't want to do is when you're you're changing the name, and if you misspell it by accident, you don't want to click backspace because if you click backspace, here's what's gonna happen. You see all the files ahead of it, um, all the offsets like ahead of the um, the value you just changed. It just basically changed the whole the whole um, save. You don't want to do that because if it does that, it's gonna throw off the whole save and it's not gonna work at all. So you um, you click undo if you make the mistake, or just close the um, the um, file and reopen it up again. So now that we changed the name. I'm gonna change this one to Rocky. Um, make sure these these values are not. Wait, these um. Now that you changed the name already, this is what his. If that's what you want his name to be, you want to make sure that any other values above it or after it, I should say, is zero. So you could go right here, make sure you click right here, and change it to zero. That way, his name when his name when um you go to the game is gonna be Rocky. And make sure you change it right here too as well. Just add zero zero zero. Um. Well, I'm gonna just leave it just like this for now. You guys could explore and, and figure, figure out who you want to change and stuff like that. But yeah, I changed um his name to Rocky. You could just save it right here. Save, whatever. No big deal. When you guys are um doing this yourself you guys could explore and stuff like that because i'm not used to change i'm only used to changing their names using um using magic save i'm not used to doing all those other stuff i usually use cw cheat and i use the memory editor and stuff like that that that's more easier to me you know i like doing things the manual way for some reason i don't know it's just me so now you could disable your psp from the computer and now you're gonna want to go back to the game Let me open this up. It's gonna pop up. Let's hope it pops up. Cause when it pops back up, you need to do these steps very fast for for it to work. Okay, it looks like it's connected. All right, you click the two volume buttons quickly. You go to save data. You go down to read and valid data. Enable it real fast, and then you go to backup and click load from Magic Save as fast as you can. So it's loading from Magic Save. If you do this in the game, it's gonna um, have an issue and it's not gonna um, load properly. It's not found, so um, should I save it? Yeah, I'm gonna save it. Let me see if it if it's changed. I don't know why it why it said it, the load failed if it didn't fail. <laughs> um, here it is, guys. See, it's changed right here. Rocky. You guys can mess around. I'm sure you guys will figure stuff up, figure stuff out as you guys go along. I know this tutorial's a fail, but yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe, and comment. And tell me if you guys figure anything out, and just tell me how is how's it going. If you guys have any trouble.